Yeah, the CryEngine 3 is all an all-encompassing, all-in-one solution. So whether it's the Infinite World, whether it's you, want, you want photorealistic graphics or you want stylized graphics, whether you want physics, high-end physics with breakability and whatnot, or you want, for example, a kick-ass AI system as seen in Crisis, for example, you can do all of that, actually. There's, you don't need any, ex, any extra middleware whatsoever to produce any AAA title you want. So what we have done is in the last two and a half years we've been working actually on one thing, PC engine, but also on the console technology research. So having the CryEngine 2 done was for us a major milestone because we pushed the boundaries as far as, far as we can. With the CryEngine 3 it was clear for us that we will have to change a lot on the CryEngine 2 to get actually this running on console. So the console team researched, researched and started rewriting components of the CryEngine 2 which became then CryEngine 3. So the knowledge of the research team of consoles, but also the CryEngine 2 is a result of CryEngine 3, which offers, I think, high-end graphics that are not seen yet in consoles because of experience on high-end PC. So uh, CryEngine 3, actually, we just disclosed CryEngine 3. Uh, we disclosed it to some of our CryEngine 2 clients, but they were very focused on PC. So because they were focused on PC, it wasn't that interesting for them because there's a high-end PC research part that is improving as well on CryEngine 3. So it's not just console improvements, but also high-end PC improvements. But the, the real interest we got from are people who worked on consoles, which we didn't uh, receive yet as an interest. So we got pretty much all the top 20 developers of the last two years, apart from some of those who do their own engines. <laughs> But all of them actually pretty much looked at the engine and were very blown away by it. They couldn't believe it actually, one on console even. So I'm very happy about that. So I think going forward, Crinus 3 will become definitely one of the key engines in the London market. Well, the thing is we have a little bit of a um, say healthy amount of disrespect for the impossible. <laughs> so the way I'm looking at it is, whatever people say it's impossible, we just try to challenge it. So we come from a very high-end PC research, we constantly push that. Today we have research going on on high-end PC that we, nobody knows about outside. So we, whenever we research that, we try to make it possible, seemingly impossible even on PC, we try to make it possible on console. So that attitude and the hunger to do always innovation and work with a vision is always a part of our culture. And our, by our mantra we say always like envision, enable, achieve. So it's about having a vision and from our perspective as a management is enable the team so that they can achieve what they want and so probably it's the freedom and the respect also the trust we give to our team to do actually what they want to do and usually it results in a kick-ass technology which is really great for us. Well the people are just starting now with CryEngine 3 so um, CryEngine 2 wasn't on console really that's why it's a bit more difficult but I'm sure I'm very sure that Crying 3 will have a lot of console games coming out.